Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Time Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the Explosive One. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. You're the sticky boy. And we're playing Monster Hunter World, dude. Superhero series, dude. I changed the outfit again because Jonas said I didn't look superhero -ish enough. How about now? Oh, dude, you look How like. How about now? You look like a giant horny person. Wait, what? <laughs> What? Where do you... I don't know where you get this. Horny! You have horns coming out of your head. No, Jonas. You were talking about something else. You're not wow. going to trick me. You can't say the word horny and not expect me to just automatically be like, Oh, you must be talking about the protrusion sticking up out of my back and neck area. Coitus. <laughs> Mature. All right. Yeah, so this is a series where I go into low-rate games and we talk about Alec Baldwin versus John Travolta and I go and help people who may may or may not be having difficulty with some of the monsters in their low-rate games. What if what if they haven't given you consent? They're trying to like they want to like <laughs> they want you to they want to have a hard time fighting these bosses. Yeah, I mean, and you run in and you just like slap them around. They're like, "Wow, I don't feel fulfilled from that." You make a valid point, and I don't care if they don't want me to, <laughs> because I'm doing it for YouTube. Yeah, you, know, you know, I was thinking it's like uh, a lot of times it's like some of the uh, just like the just above these high rank or low rank monsters, like uh, like early high ranks are really hard, dude. And there's like some that just like gave me nightmares. Yeah, dude. I remember like when we like, were playing this way, way, way back when you were like. This dude is so hard. Yes. But now I'm like, that. even the guys who I used to be like, these dudes are so hard, I'm like, push over. Right. So there's, there's new uh, there's new monsters coming out this week for this game, Jonas. Uh, uh -oh, I so, can't wait. There's so ne so uh, next, next week. Next. Um, well, we'll probably be behind, right? Wait. No. It'll be the week that this video comes out. I'm pretty sure it's the week that the well, monsters. Well, if it will... I mean, right, either we're ahead good. sometimes. Good. Even if we get the new monsters, you can always put those ones out before these ones. Yeah. So. Okay. Fair. Whatever. Either way, there's new monsters coming out, dude. I'm excited to see them. Uh, me too. Um, I'm so excited. There's three of them, dude, and one of them is a completely What's like. What's that guy doing? He's shaking, dude. He's a puppy. Gonna shake his head, dude. Now he's gonna get slanged into the wall because I slanged him into the wall. Then I'm gonna smack him in the nuts. Cause that's what you do. That's what you yeah. do. You, Are you always can you dance for this person once you kill this monster. Form? I just want to see you. Dance you want to see me dance? Right, you got it. Yeah, man. like once you, you beat it, it, like stand there and dance before you run away. You got it. You... This little guy's gonna be like, "Oh, what a nice man came to save me." Yeah, John, I would love to get you into this game. I would not like to do it. You don't even know. That. I I can tell by watching this. I would not enjoy playing this game. How is that? What 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 about this game makes you think? It's you the would same enjoy? thing over and over again. What do you What do you mean? It's the same thing. Oh, it, it's every video. You play Madden. <laughs> you play Madden. <laughs> but it's like that's every game is its own entity. <laughs> it's like it's for stats, man. That it's like, just bolsters my point. <laughs> Every game is its own entity. Yeah, so the argument of this game being you play Flight of Fire. <laughs> it's you... all different too, though. No, it is. I... No, it is. Also, uh, by the way, the luster of that game is wearing off. I am getting like, oh, this is you thing played the freaking Dead. We played thirty episodes of Dead by Daylight. Literally the same game every time. It <laughs> literally is. Literally. I played same. one of those last night too. It wasn't all that fun. Why aren't games as fun as they used to be? I don't know because you're like, oh dude, you're jaded and nothing's fun anymore. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, nothing once is. Once you get our age, nothing gets nothing. Dude, I think fun. that doing this YouTube channel is maybe not enjoy video games. I think freaking. I'm lying. <laughs> well, I don't know. You didn't really enjoy video games. <laughs> Yeah, I hit a point, dude. I, I like video games. You know what killed video games for me? Destiny. Really? When they when they did that season one to season two ish. You're welcome, it, citizen. It literally, that it broke my video game heart. It, it broke my spirit. Broke. When I put all that time into getting all that good stuff, uh, and then in like eight seconds they basically put, took a dump on it and threw it in the toilet. Yeah. I was like, wow. It's, that, it's not some cost fallacy, but it is the, the point of like when you put so much work and effort into a video game, 
and then they come out with a sequel to it and then all of your stuff is just null and void and that's what they're trying to avoid with like uh overwatch 2 and that's a lot of reason why we were talking about uh how they keep coming out with dlc and improving on the game that you mm-hmm. have already yeah how do you think people who play gta 5 are gonna feel when gta 6 comes out they're gonna be like yo I've been playing this game for seven years. <laughs> right. I have all these cars, all this money. I've bought every apartment in the game, and now you're just saying, "I what, I'm done with that? We're done? We don't have that anymore? Right, dude. And that's how I felt about that. I put so much time in to get all the weapons, all the stuff, and like, and it would have been okay if like over time things were... It was literally yeah. eight minutes into the new it was mission. Jarring. I had a green gun better than my best gun I had. Yeah, it was a, it was a jarring transition. And man. I was like, it all was of that time very, for nothing. Very, very jarring. It, it literally, that I think was my wake up call. I think that <laughs> that was the moment that I started not enjoying. When you're like, hey, my Gallahorn does no damage. <laughs> Right, dude. I spent all this. It was. I think like, and I still played like the Taken King, just not nearly as much. Yeah. And, but I think if I look back to a point in time, that was the moment that like, that really made me like. I'm like, I don't want to put time in games because it's not worth it anymore. Yeah. Welcome to the real world. I know, right. dude. Welcome. It was like my heart. It was like it broke my video game welcome, soul. Welcome to, the, welcome to the real world, man. That's yeah. how it goes, though. Just like all my exes have made me. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> hey! Hey! Once hey. your heart gets broken from something, you know it's hard to go back. I don't know. Um, I I just kind of took that with a grain of salt. It did make it hard for me to jump back into another one. And so I, obviously, I don't play Destiny anymore. Neither do you. Yeah, and it, and you know, but if I'm playing like Overwatch, I can enjoy Overwatch for the game it is because yeah. you're not trying to get better. You're just getting more skins. So like you know, the time you put into that is just you getting better in the game and having more fun. Yeah. Like. Uh, like um, Dead by Daylight. It's the same thing. Like, yeah, your character gets better, but it's the same thing. Like, you're just playing for fun. Like, well, the spy, but like Destiny, where you're like trying to get all this good stuff, and then they're like, bye. You're like, no. <laughs> okay, but back on to Monster Hunter, yeah. Jonas, which you say is the same thing. There are over. 50 different things you can fight in this game. Yeah, but I don't... It's not... The, it, well, yeah, I'm not... Like, my, my thing is... I was joking about this being the same thing. Yeah. It is kind of. It like, is kind of the same thing, but... but no, dude, I just it, just... it just doesn't look like my jam. I just don't think I can get into it. It's a great game. I'll, I'll admit it's a great game. Same thing with Assassin's Creed and Red Dead. I would have oh, never yeah, played those games. You would have never games. played those either, huh? The, but those are great games. Oh, my God. That Assassin's Creed game blew my mind. It like, I'm way, not going to lie. way better than I thought it was The first few be. episodes, I was like, eh. But then by the end, I was into it, dude. I was like, I, but I like, it was like I liked watching you play. Oh. Because, <laughs> like, like, I was just like, I would never do this. I'd like, never put the time in to get this much stuff in this game. <laughs> I like watching you play with yourself, too, Joe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's a real treat. Crazy Town Secrets. <laughs> Crazy Town Secrets. <laughs> uh, uh, we haven't done in a long time a Get to Know Your Host episode. Remember we had all those questions and we answered them? Who, we, what the hell are we going to ask each other? We, remember we had those random questions? I remember what happened. There's a, I still have the list. We were crossing them off as we were asking them. <laughs> dude. <laughs> what are we going to ask, dude? It's like dumb stuff. Like, if you were a, a pirate, what would the name of your ship be? It Things would like, be the S, the SS Dynamite, dude. No, the what the, would your flag be? It would be a stick of dynamite with a glands. With glands? With a glands. What's a what's a glands? Oh, like don't a. Don't look that up, kids. <laughs> Jesus. I don't even know what that is. Oh, Jonas, the glands is the head of the penis, Jonas. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like the, like it'd be like a penis with a dynamite. No, shaft. I didn't say it would be a penis. I said it'd be a stick of dynamite with a gland. <laughs> but, but I said what I meant. <laughs> and then would, the, would the fuse be coming out of the tip? Okay, look. <laughs> we're not, I'm just we're going not, off what you. We're not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who started it, dude. Look, I I do esoteric jokes, and then I'm just like, hey, I'm just gonna leave that there. And then you're like, hey, well, let's look at it, pick it up, and <laughs> massage it back to health, and, <laughs> and then roll put it, it on the mantelpiece. I'm like, nah, Jonas, we're just <laughs> I'm just touching on it. I don't want to. I mean, not touching on it. Wow. I mean. I don't want to touch anybody's glands. Look, you know what? See, we're done. That's it. End of the channel. (laughs) 
<laughs> Jealous gets me uncomfortable talking to his penis talk. And then you're like, well, that's it. End of the world. No <laughs> yep. more. Yep. I don't mind if you guys think, like, uh, we're jerks or we're, like, bigots or anything. But wow. <laughs> I will not have you thinking that. <laughs> I will not. Wow. What, Jonas? Is that bad? You make enough jokes. I make enough jokes about what? About Stevie Wonder jokes. <laughs> I'm crawling into my bed and all sorts of random you t- Okay, sir. Look, I have never joked about crawling into You have bed. absolutely done that. I am 100% serious every time I talk about crawling into your bed. <laughs> they weren't jokes, yeah, Jonas. Yeah, those are not jokes, sir. Oh, man. Those are subtle hints. And you're just not picking up <laughs> on them. Just planting seeds. Yeah. So one day you're just going to be like, hey, uh, you want to just like come stay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Jonas, <laughs> have you ever thought about killing somebody? No. No? There's nobody I dislike enough that I would want them to. I know. See, now you're not, you're not, you're, 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 you're answering before you think you're here. No. Have you ever just like stood outside of somebody's door with a with a <laughs> knife in your hand? No, not like you do to my bedroom. Listen, no, see, no, see, that, I'm not the only one. I mean, not that I do this. What you're just saying is that I feel like it's a relatively normal behavior. It's a weird looking creature. This is Palomalu, dude. <laughs> He's the freaking predator on the Steelers. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> nah, dude, I don't know. That's never crossed my mind. So you never just like, I mean, all right, fine. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, sure. But like, I would never hurt anybody. Okay, but okay, look, I was living when I was living with, uh, we'll just call him Do, D-E-W. <laughs> when I was living with Dewis, <laughs> I remember occasionally, like I would have to go and like chop wood because we lived in freaking like, <laughs> the backwoods of Pennsylvania. Wait, his neck got skinny? Yeah, dude, he puffs his neck out. He can fly with it. No, oh. he's going to blind me! All right, but I remember just, like, grabbing the axe to go chop wood, and he would be in his room with his door locked, and I would just, like, stand there, and I would contemplate, like, if I were to go in there and just, like, kill him right now. Chop his door down. If I was just to do that, like, my life would change forever, dude. Oh, like, yeah, it would. Absolutely. And I'd be like, dude, I'd immediately have to, like, just be on the run. And I'm like, that's crazy. Right? Well, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really weird how, like, one decision, one second of action can change your life forever. And that's what that's what I'm getting at. I'm yeah, not. it's not it's about not the a, killing it's people it's thing. It's, a, it's that how choices we make impact our life yeah. forever. Yeah. Yes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that's, have you that's ever a better way to say it? Have you ever had a that? thought about doing something that would completely change your life? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, well, you're like, I mean, you could just be like, man, I can go in here and rob a bank, but like, my life is gonna change forever. Okay, see, now that's along the same lines of what I'm saying. So yeah, that, never... and I'm putting it in a non-murder example. <laughs> it's still a crime. Well, Jonas. right, a crime like, is a crime. Yeah, but right? like. If you say, have you ever sat around and thought about killing your friends? That sounds a lot worse than have you thought about... You don't know my friends. Yeah, I know some of them, but yeah, I get, I get it. Trust me. And you um, are one of them. So I know. You should really understand. I, exactly, dude. I think about myself all the time. Oh, wait. Um, but yeah, dude. It's like it's, it's messed up how, like, yeah, like, it's just like a little, like, thing. All right, so you walk, in, you walk into a bank and you think I could, I could rob this place right now, but it would F my life up? I no, but that, I was trying to think of an equivalent that didn't include murder. All right, so now there's this game, Jonas. I was watching uh, a playthrough of. It was called uh, Disco Elysium. It actually like won like a uh, best game uh, last year. I guess it was awarded a bunch of awards for being like a really good game. Is it a PC game only? It is a PC game. Now essentially, it's just like a uh, it's like a uh, RPG, but it's like it's everything is like real life. So it's like you just like you're a police officer and uh, there's like no magic spells or anything of that okay. nature. And then like a bunch of weird S starts happening around town. But as you're going through like the game, you have like internal dialogues with like uh, different aspects of what makes a person human. Okay. And it just like it illuminates like a lot of the stuff like like just like fleeting evil thoughts or fleeting like immoral thoughts that we may have. Right. And in the game, you can choose to like indulge in some of those thoughts or you can choose to just like ignore them like normal people would. Oh, okay, I got you. So like 
you could like in the game one of the characters came across like a group of like the anti-semitic just like well i won't even not anti-semitic so they were just like racist in general and then like as as a, you were listening to what they were saying you could choose to buy in or you could choose to just be like you're crazy like right, that, right, 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 right. and there's this like other things like when it comes to like hurting people or anything but it's like we we're constantly doing these little mental checks oh absolutely <laughs> Yeah, and then there's people who lose the ability to, like, between right and wrong or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, crazy. So, don't ever kill me, please. I won't. All right. But, no, I get it, yeah. that It's it's crazy how many, like, how many times we don't even realize that we have to, like, be like, that's crazy. I don't want to join that. You know what I mean? Like, you do it without even thinking because, like, you're in your right mind. Exactly. Yeah, are we done? Yeah. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, sit around and ponder all the thoughts that you shouldn't have and make sure you don't do them. For Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh,